Hi class, this is Dr. Warut Suwampan. You can call me Ajahn Warut or Ajahn Ode. Either way is fine with me. So just call me whichever one you feel more comfortable with. So this is the first class of Introduction to Calculus for the first semester of 2021. I know that it's kind of hard having to start a course like this, you know, without seeing each other's face and unable to communicate both ways in the lectures no talking and it's like i'm talking to myself right now everything has to be online and we are all looking at the computer screens for learning this is not easy but you know the situation out there at this point is i would say unstable and also unpredictable about what's going to happen in the next few weeks or months so the most important thing right now is for all of us to stay safe and healthy and maybe let's hope that things will get better very soon. As you know, time is valuable. We have to keep going, even though sometimes the road is not so smooth. And that's why we are here, ready to continue with our education. So let's get started. This is Introduction to Calculus, and it's going to be your first math class you take at KMITL. And to take this class, you need basic high school math, and that includes geometry, trigonometry, algebra, and it would be nice if you know logarithm and exponential functions. Those things are going to become handy later. So I hope that you have learned most of these topics in your high school years. Some of you may find this course on the easier side because some of you might have taken some calculus before coming here, but some of you may not and may find it difficult. But that's okay. That depends on your math background from high school. But overall, I think everybody here is ready to take this course. So don't worry about that. Now about me, my name is Warut Suwampan. You can call me Ajahn Warut or Ajahn Ode, and I'll be your instructor for this coming semester. Now for my office, it's going to be at uh, ECC building, room 308. I know that you won't be um, visiting me anytime soon, but maybe for the future, maybe at the end of the semester when things get better, or maybe next semester when we take um, advanced calculus. So ECC building, it's going to be that big white building across the railroad. And my office is going to be on the third floor, room 308. And the department is electrical engineering. So if you happen to go there and you can't find my office, you can stop by at the Department of Electrical Engineering and ask the staff there. Okay, Now, office hours. At this point, it's going to be by appointments only. So if you need to ask me some questions or you need some consultation with me, at this point, you need to send a message to me, maybe by uh, line chatting or by emails. That's up to you so that we can set up online um, classroom or online meeting and we can talk in there okay now email this is important because you need this to submit your homework and assignments so my email is w.suampun at gmail.com okay keep this in mind you need this all right and that is the general information about me so let's continue with the next slide Oh, by the way, I'm going to send the file of this slide to you as well. So you can uh, watch this video along with the slide in your hand. Now, about the lectures. I have already told you about the lectures in the line groups, but I'm going to explain again. At this point, all the lectures will be online until further notice. Okay, everything is going to be 100% online because we don't know what's going to happen in the next few weeks or months. Um, it may be possible that we can move back to, uh, to study on campus after the midterm, but I am not positive about that. So as of now, everything is online and it's going to stay that way for a while. If there is any change, I'm going to let you know beforehand. Now for the lecture videos, this is going to apply to Section 7 and Section 9 Robotics and AI programs, which I am responsible for. But if you are from other sections, and you want to learn from my videos, you are very welcome to, no problem with that. All the videos will be available on my teaching channel um, on YouTube. And as I told you, 
the videos are pre-recorded just one to two days before they are posted, which means that they are going to be new and up to date. So don't worry that these videos are old and from several years ago. No, they are new. And I'm going to try to post the lecture video every uh, Tuesday and Thursday. I can be late sometime, but I'm going to try not to be like that. So I'm going to try to stick on Tuesday and Thursday. Usually I record my videos on Monday and Wednesday, and I need one day to put things together and do some editing before I can post them. And once they are there on my channel, they are going to stay there until uh, the end of the semester. So you can watch them at any time. Maybe before the exam you want to review, you can rewatch them again. But I recommend that you don't leave everything until like before the exam. Try to catch up with the lectures every week so that it doesn't get overwhelming. But you can't leave until the end anyway because I'm going to assign homeworks to you. So you need to catch up in order to do the homework. All right, and that's about it for the lectures. Everything is online and you can find them on the uh, YouTube channel. And every time I post a video, I'm going to notify you that that, that happens. Now for the textbook, it's going to be this Thomas Calculus Early Transcendental in SI units. What I have here is 14th edition. I am not sure what edition you are going to get, but as far as I know, the faculty will buy the book for you. It could be 15th edition. I'm not sure at this point, but what I know is that it's going to be one year subscription. All right, It's going to be digital edition. I'm, I need to get update on that, but if you get the book from the faculty, please let me know. And this one is a good book. I even used this book when I was um, in college a long time ago, but uh, that's early editions. So this one is good. So. Um, I think you are going to like it. We have a lot of examples, illustrations in this book. Okay, and that's for the textbook. And now for the online management and communications. At this point, we already have the line groups. We have one for section seven and another one for section nine. At this, uh, uh, right now, let's co uh, communicate over the line groups. I'm going to uh, an make announcement over there and uh, give you notification if anything changes. All the files I will post on the line groups. But there is a downside with the line group because the files will expire. So um, there is a chance that we may move to Canvas if it has been set up by the faculty. At this point, it's not available yet, but maybe in a few weeks. So we may move to Canvas. Over there, we can put everything. We can store everything, all the lectures, all the files, Okay, so as of now, let's use line. But if you move to Canvas, I'm going to let you know. Okay. Oh, by the way, for the um, communication, if you have any questions, you uh, just feel free to send me a message. Because right now, we learn online, right? And we don't really meet personally. So sometimes you have a questions, please send them away. Send, send them to me. And that w that's how we uh, learned uh, math in this class. Now, let's move to grading criteria. How are you going to get evaluated in this course? I'm going to make it clear to you. 70% are coming from the exams. So out of 100, 35% comes from midterm exam. And 35% comes from final exam, which means that midterm and final are equally important, weighted the same. Okay, So that's 70% from the main exams. Now, the rest of the 30% would come from assignments and quizzes. So this is like supporting points for you guys. Just in case maybe some, some of you might not do well in the exams, you might have this uh, assign, assignment points as a cushion so that um, you can still do well if, even though you um, don't get uh, as many points from the exams. So try to submit your homework. Do not miss it. This is going to... Uh, uh, affect your grade. So yeah, keep that in mind. Submit your homework. Now let's take a look at the weekly syllabus before the midterm. This one is the first half. So we have from week one to week nine. So um, week nine is the midterm exam and that happens on September 30th. All right. And so we have eight weeks for the um, 
materials before the midterm. So let's take a look at them really quickly here. So we start off with functions. I know that most of you have learned this in high school, maybe in grade 10 or 11. That's long time ago, but we are going to uh, bring it back. So we are going to do some reviews. Okay, so functions and then we move to limits and continuity. With the functions, we can study on the limits and check on the continuity. So it's, it's like a second episode after the functions. And once you know about the limits and continuity, you are ready to uh, dive into calculus stuff, and that is derivatives and differentiation. So you are going to um, learn about the basic rules for differentiation, for, um, for the basic functions. How do you differentiate them, and what do you get from differentiating those functions, Okay, and what their derivatives look like. So we are going to start with the, the basic ones, differentiation, and we may move to um, advanced techniques like uh, chain rules and implicit differentiation later. Okay, So starting with the basic and move to some advanced stuff. And once you know well about differentiation, we are going to apply them to some applications. We are going to use differentiation to find extreme values, finding minimum points and minima points. And that's, go uh, that's going to be for the applications of derivatives. And um, for uh, week seven, we have transcendental functions. Let me tell you one thing, transcendental, transcendental functions, this applies to uh, trigonometry function, logarithm, exponential. This is going to get spread out through, um, in our course, it's not just on this, uh, this week. So you might find them on other weeks too. So this uh, week seven, this, uh, the content of this week may, may be uh, spread out to other weeks as well. And just before the exam, we are going to start on the integrals, integration. So we are going to start with the basic stuff of the integration, like the fundamental theorem of calculus, and talking about Riemann sums, those kind of things, definitions. So the basic of the integrations just before the midterm exam. And after that, we take the exam. And let's move to what we are going to learn after the midterm exam. After the midterm exam, we Continue with integrals. First, we are going to learn how to find antiderivatives of various functions. And then we are going to learn how to perform indefinite and definite integration. Of course, we need to know the differences between them, indefinite and definite integrals. Along the way, we are going to learn a basic technique when it comes to performing integration, and that is called substitution. I think many of you might have heard about this uh, technique before, substitution. This technique is going to help us uh, integrating some function that may look a little bit more complicated at first sight. It's going to simplify things and make integration easier to perform. All right, so once we know the basic um, concept and the basic technique of integrals, we are going to move to chapter six, where we apply this idea to some applications. We are going to use integration on um, to find the area between two curves we can use integration to find the volume of 3D objects, and that leads to some techniques called disk, ring, and shell methods. These methods are going to help us find the volume of uh, objects in space. So, um, and also we can use integration to find arc lengths, some line that is curvy in the space. This can be done too. And after that, we move to chapter, chapter eight, in chapter 8, we learn about the advanced technique when it comes to performing integration. We are talking about factorization, grouping, integration by parts. I think you have heard about this before. By parts, and then last one, partial fractions. Okay, so these are advanced techniques that help us perform integration on some very difficult functions. And we move to the last uh, topics for this course, and that is infinite sequence and series, and that is in chapter 9, and that is the last uh, chapter before the final exam on December 2nd, and that is the overview of everything that we need to learn in this course. It sounds a lot, but we have the whole semester to cover everything, and that is it for the introduction to this course, and we will start our first lesson in the next video.